Dear Eleanor Roosevelt, my name is Maxine Wax and I'm 15 years old. I'm writing to you because my best friend Ellie has lost her mind. We're going to see Eleanor Roosevelt. We're going to skip school on Friday. And then when they find out, we'll already be long gone. We're going to get to see the whole country, Ellie. Gosh, I love America. You have to promise not to tell Dad. Dad. We could put some of our own pictures and some cool stuff in the back. That's a great idea, Max. We should go visit my Aunt Daisy. Aunt Daisy, it's your favorite niece, Maxine. Oh. We have all this. The star of the show, Daddy! We belong here. She should be on the big stage. You girls aren't from around here, are you? No, we're from California. Listen, why don't you come home with me to my ranch? What do you say? Yeah, okay. Yeah. This place is great. Can we go horseback riding? I'm sure my son can take you out. Howdy. I'm trying to find my daughter. When Ellie gets back from New right. York, can we go to Kentucky yeah. Fried Chicken? Johnny, I need you to go put out an APB for me. I know where they're going. This vehicle make it cross country? I think so. You have to hold the little Elvis. And um, he might poop in your pocket, so uh, don't get too mad. The search for escaped prisoner Frank Morris continues. We're leaving. Ah! Are you the mastermind from Alcatraz? Is that what they're calling you? the wax we'll be there as soon as we can your dad's on his way here i am hi daddy you two are in deep trouble you let strangers kidnap my daughter what like, these people look like is it this lady that's eleanor roosevelt well is she <clears throat> Horrible. Ow. We're going to be working on managing our anger through movement. Eagle, heron, peacock, warrior, mountain, tree, rabbit, fish, locust, king pigeon, and of course, downward duck. Ugh. Sometimes, when I get upset, I, uh, have been known to, uh, blow up. Ah, oh. oh, excuse me. Party foul. Unbelievable. Not working, not working. Oh, where are we going? Not working. We practiced this a hundred times. Oh, man. Give it to me. Oh. We're gonna come in again.
been a good enough father. I don't want to be a good enough father. Let's go, let's go! Don't quit! Don't quit! Hey, you know what? I thought your jump rope and routine was really good. I just got a notification that you moved money from our savings into your checking account. Can we talk about this later? You must be the real estate agent. Well, it's so good to meet you. Let me show you the house. This is my favorite place in this house. I call it my war room. You wrote prayers for each area of your life. Prayer strategy. I sure could use some of that. Tony, you should go see your practice tomorrow. I'm out of town this week. When were you going to tell me? I just did. Tony, that was my favorite ref. I'm real good. How you doing? I wish I lived at your house. Whenever my parents are together, they just fight. Dude, I can't get a pass from you. It'd be easier to baptize a cat. I just need you to blow off a little steam, okay? There's one thing we do well. It's fight. You do not want World War III to break out in your home. No, no, I don't. Just because you argue a lot doesn't mean that you fight well. You got to plead with God so that he can do what only he can do. Then you got to get out of the way and let him do it. You need to do your fighting in prayer. Keep fighting the good I've never seen anybody do what you did. It's time for you to take off the gloves and fight for your marriage. Keep fighting the good. Lord, we need an army of believers. Lord, call us to battle. Raise them up, Lord. Raise them up. Let's do Benjamin Franklin. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. interest. Okay, listen to your teachers. Love you. Love you. It's a good life. <laughs> it's a good It's a good life. When Anna got sick, I just couldn't understand it. Why was this loving little girl going through this? I think your daughter is lactose intolerant. Acid reflux. Everything looks okay. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. There's something wrong with our little girl. Mrs. B, you need to calm down. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Unfortunately, the tests confirm that she's very ill. There is currently no cure for Anna's condition. Doctor, please, this is our little... Girl, I'm scared, Mom. Me too. We're not giving up. Like a small boat on the ocean. We need a solution. We need it now. And we'll get it. How? By not losing our faith. How long have you been married? 14 years. Free her from this. Can you even hear me? You're telling me that when this baby girl fell 30 feet, she hit her head just right, and it didn't kill her, and it didn't paralyze her. It healed her. Yes. Well, that's impossible. This is a little hard to believe. And there's a lot of people out there that are just looking for publicity. A lot of people think we're crazy. You either roll with it or you get rolled on. Who told you you'd be fine?
I served the Roman Empire. I fought wars against those who did not believe in our gods. But nothing could prepare me for the truth that has now risen. He was very special. They're fanatics. What was his name? He was called Yeshua. The man's dead. His followers are in hiding. He's been a threat. Take control out there and finish things. The tomb is sealed. Guarded with your life. If this body vanishes, we have a potential messiah. Where has he gone? You tell me. You will track down the corpse of Yeshua. He's right here. Open your heart and see. Well, when you get tired of the pipe, come surf some real waves. Bethany Hamilton is holding nothing back. Looks like she has a real future. And with her heart, her will, she'll go far. Thursday night's a full moon. We're all gonna go surfing. Sorry, Mom. I really wanted to go night surfing. Would you have let me go? No. I don't know. Can you believe we get to come out here every day? Teenage girl from the North Shore. Shark attack. Dramatic amputation. She's going into hypovolemic shock. Huh? The things that you're going to have to learn to do differently is extensive. I can't do this anymore. So what do we do now? We'll take it day by day. I don't know why terrible things happen to us sometimes, but I have to believe that something good is gonna come out of this. What's all this stuff? It's a little fan mail. We sorted it out by country. There's an eighth grader from North Carolina who lost his arm. He's gonna try out for a school soccer team because of me, and he's rooting for me in my next competition. Hey, Dad. <laughs> 